All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends. And as usual, you know, Muslims they cannot keep their mouth shut, and they are heroes in chat, but they are potatoes in calling me. Every Muslim in the world he can refute Christian prince, but none of them dare to make a call in Skype and get Christian prince busted live on air. And then you need to ask yourself, I mean, why? As long as this guy is a liar and you can get him busted, just call and say, okay, show me. Show me what you just said. Why they don't do that? Because simply they knew. They are the one is lying. In fact, when a Muslim, he posts a false accusation against me, I even pin their message. I pin the message, not delete it. The Muslim, they delete our Christian messages. Here, we pin the message. Why? Because we find the Muslims' uh, answers is the best comedy, and they help us really to expose Muhammad. So this guy, his name is Saidu. Uh, uh, see, say, saying. It is, sound like a Nigerian or something from Africa, maybe. Muhammad never recite, received a verse of her three daughters by angel delivery, but by inspiration. You know, I want to I wanna stop here. Supposedly, you are now defending Muhammad, aren't you? But look what you just said. It was an inspiration. Be my witness. The Muslim, they say, that the three daughters of Allah order to worship it was an inspiration in the same time he acknowledged that they are inspiration from shaitan and here now we understand that when muslim they speak about inspiration they are talking about receiving inspiration from shaitan inspiration for christians you know uh, this is from god you don't say uh, satan and you, you don't say inspiration. You say tempted. You say uh, try to fool me, etc. But you don't say inspiration. The second you say inspiration, you are talking about God. So now you just admitted that the true God of Muhammad is the devil. For he receive, according to you, not me, as you see, he receive inspiration. Muhammad never received a verse of the three daughters of the angelic delivery, but by inspiration, which means anything Muhammad he received from the angel is not inspiration. Are you guys following with me? When I say those people, they have a low IQ, I have my reason. I'm not insulting. Anything Muhammad received from the angel as delivery is not inspiration. But all the Quran was delivery. All of it. Isn't it Muhammad the first time Muhammad he saw his angel, the angel he squeezed him? And then he said, Christian Prince lied about how Muhammad received the revelation. So how, uh, so now trying to make it up by coming out with Satan cloning angel Gabriel, Muhammad received revelation in various manner. Uh, you know, I like it when a Muslim he tried to defend and uh, and I wonder, like, you know, like this guy, he didn't ask himself, he is talking about Christian Prince, and Christian Prince, he would answer him, and he will see his comment, and maybe that will make him more excited, even it's late at night here, uh, you know, to to go live just to get you busted. Actually, I have a Muslim saying, cool, I don't know. This is from before. Maybe he's asleep right now, I'm not sure. I tried to call him, he did not answer. If you are a Muslim in your life, please feel free to call me. However, we are not going to make you like uh, Mr. Saidu uh, Sisi, Casey, suffer a lot 
with your dementia because Muslims they suffer from dementia even if they are not too old they remember when they want they forgot when they want and they don't ask themselves okay what about I say to this man instead of saying to him you are lying show me the reference and then if he could not people will laugh at him just call me hey Christian Prince can you show me where this lie came from obviously you are making a lie you are just saying that in the comment Christian Prince lied about how Muhammad received the revelation now he's trying to make it up by by uh, coming out with satanic cloning angel Gabriel let us go to your stupid books the yellow pages of the Muhammadan you know there is a guy his name uh, uh, what his name the one interviewed with uh, Sheikh Hamza 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 Yusuf this guy he keep quoting Ar Razi Ar Razi Ar Razi Ar Razi Ar Razi however the one who is saying this story is Ibn Abbas and this is your Muslim website actually I have it in the comment there and I will uh, post the link for everybody I, I, I don't need the English one but that will help me and will help you uh, instead of me translating what it says in Arabic thank God the Muslims are helping us so this is a Muslim website it's called Iqra which means read dot org this is a very Islamic website as I'm guessing you can check it out I never saw it before but anyway even you can call them in whatsapp look they have even chat and whatsapp and etc some people refer to certain quotes from the Islamic blah, 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 blah. No, let us go to the to the story Qala Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas he said who reported from Ata from Ibn Abbas that a devil called Al Abiyad. What is the name of the devil? Al Abiyad came to the Prophet in a form of Jibreel and cast these words, i.e., satanic verses, upon him. And the Prophet recited them. Then the pagans heard that and it, it pleased them. Thereupon Jibreel came to him, came to Muhammad, and asked him, uh, rehear the revelation to him. So Jibreel, he come to Muhammad. I mean, look at look how silly, how stupid the story. Jibreel come to Muhammad, says, "Hey, listen, Muhammad, tell me, tell me what you just said. Tell me, tell me. Tell, come here, come here, come here." Huh? So Muhammad start Jibreel, he said to him, "Stop." When he reached the word, Jibreel said to him, "I did not bring you those words." I did not bring you those words. Ah, oh, he is here. This this idiot. He is here. Why don't call me? As long you are saying full of rubbish, why you don't call me and let us see who is the rubbish, guys? Am I showing reference? Am I showing their books? Am I showing their hadith? Am I showing their what is what the Muslim themselves wrote about their prophet? So this guy he is saying, you have rubbish. Well, if, if I have rubbish, that's yours. And you are upset, and you are a coward, by the way, otherwise you call me. And read it for me. Look what he is saying. And you will notice they don't dare to call. They are making pippy in their panty. This is in the book of Ar Razi, value number 23, page number 53. Do you want more reference? Tafsir al Razi, the interpretation of al Razi. Hmm? Potato, rubbish, this is your books. This is your books. This is not my book. I don't believe in, in, in a word in those books. I will never believe in a books written by low IQ nation who believe that their God will have uh, women waiting for them and their legs is up like victory sign. You have to be mental. So this is Tafsir al Razi, value number 23, page number 53. It's saying that an angel, his name Abiyad, he came to Prophet in the form of Jibreel. <laughs> And you know, and then he said to you, 
you are full of rubbish. You lied about Satan cloning Zebril to deliver revelation. Uh, my friend, if I lied, call me and tell me why Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, who is your prophet, prayed to Allah to make him the ink of the Islam, saying that. How I can be a liar if I am just reading what your your prophet cousin said? Are you there, potato? Now he will play dumb. He will play his not here. He will run. He will have nothing. Let us see how many comments he will say. Same time, guys, if you read with me the story, you will see how stupid Muhammad is. Because even time went by, still Muhammad reciting the satanic verses and he did not notice that those are satanic verses. Did you notice? You know, not everybody really uh, see what I see usually. Not everybody read what I read. Look, Jibreel came to him and this is a while after. And he said to Muhammad, Recite to me the verses again, the chapter, the chapter of the, uh, the uh, Najm, which means the stars. And here you see how stupid this religion is. You know, uh, supposedly uh, uh, Muhammad, he told his cousin to worship the God of the star. Who is the God of the star? Muhammad is a moon, wor moon God worshiper. What the God of the star? And then Allah, he swear by the foreign star. There's no foreign stars. Muhammad, he think, that the meteor are foreign stars and he say Allah he swear by the foreign stars and then his cousin he asked his cousin to believe in the foreign star God he refused and then the Muslim they claim that when his cousin he went to Yemen Allah he sent his dog to eat him why you don't call me Guys, look at this answer. This guy, he squeezed his bum and he decided to give me the answer. Look at this answer. Now he refuted me. Just to show you that you are stupid. And yes, I know Islam more than Muslims. Because how come you never heard that an angel, his name, al Abiyad, he came to Muhammad? You just deny it. Is that correct, guys? Isn't it this is the same guy who deny, he says there is no such a thing? Isn't it you who said you lied? There's no such a thing. So either now you have to accept that you do not know what is written in your books and you do not know what my knowledge is, or you have to accept that you are a liar, you know about it, but you deny it, claiming that you do not know it. Which one is you? You said you know Islam more than Muslims, yet do not know the books of Muslims believe in. Well, is Al Razi is the book of Muslims believe in? If Arazi is nobody, why are you Muslims are quoting him? And not only that, Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas talking, not Arazi. Arazi is just quoting what Ibn Abbas said. <laughs> you know, they get hurt and their bum have all my fingerprint on them. And now they want to blame me saying I'm lying. And now they claim that they have knowledge and they don't have, you know, like the one, they are the one who have knowledge. I am claiming to have knowledge, but he never heard the story before. Otherwise, if you heard the story before, tell me why you are saying I'm lying. Either I am lying, which means the story is not there. Or you are lying and the story is there. Or you can say, I will give you like, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Say you are a donkey, you do not know your religion. You claim that you Muslim, you have books and you know your books. In fact, you don't know. Even Muhammad, he did not know how to read his own book. Muhammad himself, he did not know how to read his own book. So look what happened here. Jibreel, he came back to Muhammad and he said to him, Recite for me, read it carefully. Therefore, Jibreel came and asked him to rehear the revelation to him. When he reached the words, which mean the three, three letters of Allah, he said, uh, with me, Jibreel, he said, I did not bring you those words. I did not bring those two, those words. And look what Muhammad, he said, someone came to me in your form 
and cast these words on my tongue. So there's two things happen. There's, he saw it, he saw a person. That person looked exactly like Jibreel. And Muhammad, by the way, he cannot even quote a name of an angel correctly. He stole the name from the Jews, and now Gabriel became Jibreel. But anyway, just let it go. So a person who came to you in your image, in your image, Jibreel, and he cast those words on my tongue. And here you ask yourself, this guy, he said, it's an inspiration. There's no, there's no angel. His name is Abiyad. There's no such a thing. But if it's inspiration, why he is in the front of him? Remember the first quote he said, this potato. He says, will Jibreel, uh, Muhammad, he receive uh, inspiration, not delivery. He said that. But inspiration do not need a person to come to Muhammad in person. And then if we go down, you will see. Yeah, I posted the link already. But which one do you want? The English one? We posted already. Here we go. And then if we go down a little bit, you will see Al-Qurtubi. Things is getting even more stupid. As if in the Quran, chapter 59, verse number 16. Al-Qurtubi. Now, this Muhammad will say, Christian prince is lying for you. This is not the true. And al qurtubi speak about an angel, his name, uh, sorry, a, a shaitan, his name is al Abiyad. And this Abiyad, he came to a priest or a monk, a monk who was praying for four, 70 years. He never disobeyed Allah for a day. And I wonder how monk he obey Allah, or you know, he's a monk. A Christian monk or a Jewish monk, they don't obey Allah. Allah is the devil. But anyway, this is the Muslim story as it is. So al Abiyad, he was the companion of the prophets. Ah, so this shaitan, he is the companion of the prophet. This is his duty. And the one who intended to reach the prophet is in the form of Jibreel. To whisper to him in a grab of revelation. However, Jibreel intervened and plushed al Abiyad with hand to throw him in the farther corner in the India, brother. Who can call Zakir Naik for us and tell us if he can have an interview with al Abiyad? It turned to be Shaitan, Mr. Abiyad, who throws satanic verses in the mouth of Muhammad. Right now, he is in India, brother, and he is eating curry. He came to Prophet Muhammad and you know he throws it like verse. Zakir, how how does Shaitan can clone an angel? I mean, the Shaitan he if he can clone Jibreel, that means maybe all the Quran Muhammad received is from Shaitan. Maybe even Jibreel, when he comes second time, saying to Muhammad, I did not say that to you, maybe even that one is shaitan too. Because there's many shaitan. Maybe those shaitan are competing. Who is going to be in control of Muhammad? Listen to me, don't listen to him. Are you with me, guys? So now the shaitan, suddenly he is in India eating curry. And uh, it looked like uh, Jibreel, he punished people by sending them to India. I mean, why to India? It's just a question. The farther, you know, corner of India, what is that? Pakistan? Bangladesh? Sri Lanka? And here you notice that this religion, this cult, if we can call it a religion, everything in it is connected to India. Uh, uh, Adam and Eve, they landed in uh, in India. Sorry, if she landed in Jeddah. Adam, he landed in, in, uh, in India, in Sri Lanka, specifically. And now Shaitan, who his name is Abiyad, he took the image of 
Jibril. And Jibril, when he came back, we, 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 you know, knock at the door of Muhammad. Open the door, you idiot. Well, what happened? What happened? Listen to me. I am Jibril. Peace be upon me. And I did not tell you to say the word. Okay, you know what? I want you to recite the word for me. Recite the whole chapter. Muhammad, he sat in the front of Jibreel and he started reciting the whole chapter. And when he arrived to the verses where he said, Worship the three daughters of Allah, Jibreel, he said to him, Stop, stop, stupid Muhammad. Stupid Muhammad, I did not say to you those words. And as you see, we have the reference. It's in front of us. Translated by Muslims. And look, the Muslims are asking you to donate. Maybe you say, say do uh, what's his name. Maybe you should go and make a donation, brother. However, if you don't like to donate to Muslims, you can donate to me. Even though we don't talk about it, but I would love to get donation from Muslims. It make me feel good. So everything you said, we have here, we have the numbers, we have the reference, we have the record, and all of them, they are big names in your religion. Al-Razi, Al-Qurtubi, Ibn Abbas, and you say to people, I'm lying, you stupid. Do we have anyone here from India? Who is from India here? Anyone from India? There's nobody from India. I'm the only Indian here. I can't believe it. I know the sound of voice takes some time for people to hear me. Let us see how many people from India. Because I want to know, how do you feel as an Indian? You know what? Let us make a reaction video. People from India can call me and tell me what their reaction that so, that uh, that uh, Adam he landed in Sri Lanka and uh, the uh, the angel the sorry Shaitan who did uh, gave Muhammad satanic verses now he's in India. Anyone in India want to call me to kill me to tell me your reaction? Well, we have many Indian here. That's good. That's good, man. I would love to eat Indian food, but it is so spicy. Oh boy. And you know what? I think Angel Jibril, he decided, he said to him, you know, like he told this uh, this uh, fake angel, he said to him, what I will do with you, huh? What I will do with you? What I will send you? You know what? I will send you to Alaska. The, the shaitan, he said to him, no, no, man, please. What are you doing? What Alaska? It's cold. Send me to India. They have the best food ever, man. So is it a punishment to send him to India or this is a reward? The guy having fun there. I mean, do you know how good the food of the Indian people? Are you punishing the guy now? Do you know how beautiful Sri Lanka? Do you know how beautiful India? So what kind of a punishment? Okay, punish me. Who want to punish me? Send me to India. Who want to punish me for two years to live in India? Hmm? You are a calculated liar. Say Shaitan cloned Angel Jibreel and appeared to Muhammad. This guy, he keeps saying the same stupid thing. You see how generous we are. We don't block them because we, be we believe they are the best of comedies. Well, you stupid idiot. Isn't it in the front of you? It says he came to me in your form, in the form, in your form. Look, read it. Blind people, you know, they are like their prophet. Their vision is not is not from their, not their head, in their anus. Look, yeah. Someone came to me in your form. And yet he is saying to me, you are lying. You are a calculated liar. <laughs> are you sure, Abdul? <laughs> he insists, he insists. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you think Jibreel, he can punish me and send me maybe, uh, you know... To Indonesia, like uh, so, those beautiful islands for some time. This remind me of the story of the angel. His name is Futros. Futros, brother. Futros. If you hear his story, you will die laughing, and you will have diarrhea from laughing. Futros is an angel who disobey Allah, and then Allah he sent him a very far island, and he broke his wind, his wings. Abdullah Washi saying he will find me. My friend, if you are a man, come and find me. And if you don't, you are a son of Muta. I challenge you, potato coward. He will not find you.
and I'm waiting for you. But don't bring with you your mom. I don't do muta. Okay? Did I hurt your feeling? Huh? What you can do about it? I'm waiting for you. Now be the man and do what you say. Otherwise, you are a potato son of muta like the rest of you. So now we find that the Muslims, when they deny, and we show them the reference in the front of their eye, it still didn't see it. You are a calculated liar. I like it, the calculated one. Especially when Muhammad, he calculate how to inherit, you know, your, your wealth from your mother. <laughs> My friend, why you get upset for saying you are a son of Muta? Look, 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 look. You see how the Muslims help me? This guy got offended because I called him son of Muta. Aha! So now you admit it that when your prophet, he allow you to do Muta, he was teaching your mother to do fornication, correct? We don't have muta in Christianity. We don't. You do have it. So he get upset because I said to him, son of muta. And look here, you see, guys, when the Muslim get upset, like there is, I don't know what his name forgot, uh, uh, Ali Dawa or somebody, or Muhammad Hijab, he says, if he said that in the front of my face, what you would do? And why are you upset? And I say it to you in your face, in your ass, who okay, cares? What you can do? And if muta is something permitted in the Quran, and then you claim that this is temporarily marriage. So if it's marriage, why are you upset? Because it's not marriage. They knew it is a hooker prostitution. Muslim women, they used to be rented by Muslim men. So this guy, Abdullah Washi, if he was exist in the time of Muhammad, he will rent his sister or his daughter for whoever he can afford it. And I am not interested. Sorry. All right. And even, I don't know, unless you make a donation, then I can afford it at least. Just in case, you know, Mr. Abdullah, you know, slave of Allah. <laughs> so one, he said to us, you are a liar. The other one, he wouldn't find me. The other one, we said to him, you are son of Muta. They get upset. And by getting upset, they expose their prophet. Because what kind of a prophet he allow prostitution and he order Muslim men and women to rent each other vagina and private part. And what they do, they exchange vagina for money. What a great business. And now we knew where Andrew Tate is coming from. You see, Andrew Tate, he was doing Muta. Muta is a great business. Us the guy. He perfectly pervert fit in the pervert Muhammad religion. So now we have the reference, we have the proofs, and we have tons of them. And now even we know the location of the of the shaitan. He lived a brother in India. You know what? I'm thinking to take the first airplane and go to India. And I will bring some, uh, you know, good brothers, Christian brothers to go and trace Shaitan Abiyad, who gave satanic verses to Muhammad and make interview with him and post it in YouTube. What do you think? That will be the biggest interview ever I had with anyone. This is the same Shaitan who did give Muhammad satanic verses and Muhammad did not notice until Jibreel asked him to recite it again, which means Muhammad, he kept reciting satanic verses non-stop until the stupid Jibreel came to him and says, Hey Muhammad, what are you doing, Muhammad? What's Muhammad? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? And then Muhammad, he did not know what, what's going on. So, you know, he called Zakir Naik asking him for help, you know. And Zakir Naik, you know, he called him, you know, Muhammad do not know that the earth is not flat. So he thought he have daytime the same as, in, in, you know, where Zakir Naik lay. So he called him like after the middle of the night and Zakir Naik was having sex with his wife. And Muhammad, he asked Zakir Naik what to do. So Zakir Naik asked him, first of all, I am Thur, you are not Prophet Muhammad. You are a Christian prince. <laughs> I am Prophet Muhammad. I swear by Allah and my wife is Aisha. First of all, Prophet Muhammad is dead, and there is no way he will call me. <laughs> Listen to me. <coughs> I can prove to you that I'm Prophet Muhammad. I just fainted five minutes ago, and I came back, and I'm thinking to win faith again. Listen to me. There is no way. 
Prophet Muhammad will call me for many reason. Number one, Prophet Muhammad did not have a phone. Number two, he didn't have internet. Number three, how you know about me? Number four, he is in the grave. Number five, you must be Christian friends. Let, <laughs> listen to me, I'm not a Christian person. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm telling you. Who is this guy, Christian Prince? You keep repeating his name. Listen to me. There is no way that Prophet of Allah is not no Christian Prince. This person is making other Muslim, leave it now. And Prophet Muhammad beat up with him. He said, if somebody makes somebody leave it down, his name will be written in hell. So Prophet Muhammad didn't know about him. <laughs> Listen to me. I never heard of him. And how am the world I'm going to hear of him? First of all, Prophet Muhammad, he did not need you to. And he can hear about only one. In fact, the Prophet Muhammad hear our fart right now. <laughs> Al Abiyad is in India. The Muslim, they say, he is a liar. The other guy, he wanna find me, and then we do muta. And then they say to us that this is religion. And they try to convince us that Christian prince is lying, and we have the reference. Look how many reference. Look at this, man. Look at the reference. Read with me here other reference. Guys, did you save this? Uh, did you save the reference? How many of you save it? Don't forget to save it, by the way, okay? Don't forget to save it, honestly. Because you might have difficulty in the future if you want to show reference to Muslims from their own website. Translated, not in Arabic. It's in Arabic and English. And they have the page number they have. So we are thankful. Here it says, Mukhatir ibn Sulaiman, he said, Blah, 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 reference, blah, 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 the same. So, uh, Shaitan, who his name is Abiyad, he came to the Prophet, Iblis, look, they, even they call him Iblis. And he came one, from where? From the land of the, at, at Tuhama. Tuhama is a land in Saudi Arabia. Even they knew where it's coming from. <laughs> I mean, honestly, is it those people are weird? Okay, how in the world is a shaitan and you know where he's coming from? Did he leave his ID behind? Like when, uh, did, 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 uh, did Jibreel, he check his ID, where he is born, who is his children, where he, like he's coming from Tuhama? Really? Should we say takbir? I mean, do you see how silly, how stupid those people are? When you read this, what happened usually, people don't use their brain. They don't ask themselves, how stupid, how in the world do you know where it's coming from? I mean, this guy is a shaitan. And if shaitan, he can clone Jibreel, well, he can clone maybe Allah. And that means all the message Muhammad he received from Jibreel, it might be a message from the shaitan because it's confirmed. But now anyway, we know where it's coming from. He's an immigrant, you know, immigrant. He crossed the border, brother. He's looking for a job. Okay. Hmm. And shaitan called Al-Abiyad, who was the companion of the prophets. This guy, he companion all the prophets. Any prophets. He is like any prophet. He is now. He came to him right away. He he even walked with him like there again, 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 and then companion. So now you are a prophet. You have a you have two companion. Oh, I mean, you have many companion. Your wives plus shaitan. He is always in the bedroom with you. So beautiful. Thank God I am not a prophet. Otherwise, I will have companion. His name is Al Abiyad, who is a shaitan. He go with me wherever I go, even in the shower. You don't want that. Sahib al Anbiya said, I and for him. What the heck? 
So he came to the Prophet and found him in the house of Al Safa. When the Prophet turned, Al Abyad stood up in the form of Jibreel. That's deep. Look, look, look at the details. Look. I mean, who can beat that? Who can beat that? They give you every single details. I don't know if Zachary Naik is listening. Listen, Prince. First of all, I don't listen to your YouTube. So you don't listen to YouTube. So how you just join here now? Listen, Prince. First of all, we are Muslim. We have a special privilege. We have what? Special privilege. Yeah, you have a privilege. Exactly. Uh, your privilege is about your penis. It means nothing for us. You know, you can't even use it. Look at you. You know. Are you sure even you have one? If you have one, you know, what about we debate? Listen, Prince. First of all, I don't debate people like you because if I debate you, I will make you famous. You don't make me famous. So Muslims even Islam by tens of thousands and you still I need you to make me famous. Isn't it you who just told me that Prophet Muhammad knew about me a second ago? You forgot? Christian Prince, first of all, the one who called for the time is not me. And then the money was making my voice. Are you saying to me that Shaitan al Abiyad he cloned you and called me and made me think it's you? Exactly. Okay. Well, this happened to your Prophet, so it's possible to happen to every Muslim. Exactly. So now, how we can be sure that you are Zakir Naik or not Zakir Naik? Exactly. Zakir Naik, I'm asking you a question. As long as Shaitan, he can clone everybody, even your prophet. How I can even be sure that you are Zakir Naik, not Al Abiyad, cloning you? Exactly. Zakir Naik, I'm asking you a question. What exactly? Are you stuck? Exactly. You know what? I, I think you are not Zakir Naik. You must be Shaitan Al Abiyad. Exactly. Uh, the Muslim now reciting, saying to me, Christian, look at the smart answers, guys. All the reference we showed, book after book, and he is saying to me, Christian Prince. Look, look, let me let me show you the messages. You should see, guys, my, my screen here is full of a screenshot. Unbelievable. Scre you know, screenshot of their stupidity. Oh, what happened here? Oh, okay, look at this. It's open like a page. Hold on, let me let me let me make it smaller. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, guys, listen, listen carefully. This guy, he just got me busted. I mean, who can bring such an answer unless he is a Muslim? Nobody. Look, 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 look. Christian Prince, you remind me of this guy from Indonesia, the Indonesian. Are, are you Indonesian? You sound like Indonesian. Christian Prince. I will give you five BMW if you can answer my questions. Number one questions. Show me one verse in the Bible. Jesus Christ, he said he is a Christian. But what the heck? He will give me five BMW if I can show him one verse in the Bible where Jesus said he is a Christian. <laughs> Are you the same person who came from the grave because he died? Anyone he debate me and dead. I don't know why. So, Christian Prince, you cannot even see things beyond your nose. Much mean of the Quran verse. My friend, what nose you are talking about? Your God, Allah, don't even have a nose. He have a shin. Yet he think that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. And women, she have a sperm coming from the ribs. So what nose you are talking about? You're a prophet. Your God, Allah, he never heard of something called bowls. From your backbone, backbone, backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone. What knows? Answer me. I'm showing you reference. You accuse me of lying. I showed you reference, and now you are saying to me you cannot see behind your nose, nosy, nosy person. Mm. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? Anyone? Al Abiyad? So, who is the one who did lie? And look what happened now. The story is getting more complicated. The Muslim, they knew where the house of Shaitan, in which city he is coming from, 
and even where he was sent. So now we can visit him. We have all details. So he says, he surah to Jibreel to communicate with him, li yuhiya ilahi. So Jibreel, come, I mean, this, Ara this English Arabic is, I cannot even read it. So Jibreel came down and put his hand between him and the prophet and pushed him away. Man. The shaitan is still there. I mean, he did not only give him the verses, he is going with him, whatever you go. And now Jibreel, he came like, wee, 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 wee. He entered the house of Muhammad. He put his hand between Muhammad and the shaitan, and he pushed the shaitan away. al Abyad, he pushed him gently. I, am I saying that correctly, Muslims? He pushed him gently. What the heck? Angel Jibreel, he is being gentle with shaitan? Don't you think that this is too much stupid? He pushed him gently? Mm. <laughs> so the angel Jibreel, he did not do like, no. He put his hand and he pushed Shaitan gently. And brother, brother, he pushed him gently. Yet that push, which is gently, made Shaitan go all the way to India. So the Muhammadan, they are saying to you, so imagine, brother, if the angel Jibreel, he pushed him not gently, he would be we where? He would be in the White House. <laughs> in America, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy you know when I say garbage in garbage out I'm just exaggerating being positive about Islam because garbage can be useful Islam cannot there's people they make living from garbage garbage can be useful look how many reference listen do you see how many reference and those are stupid people they are, they are saying to me I'm lying the biography of the Prophet Ali Ibrahim Al Halabi. Do you see it? Christian Prince, you are a liar. It doesn't say that, CP. So, all those references, I did not even translate. Thank you, Muslims, for translating those references for us. It's written, documented, preserved, translated by the Muhammadan. And then they say to me, You are a liar. Do you see how we make them cry? Look how many reference. Look how many reference. It's hard. Look, look, even they have not a reference. Look, look at this. How beautiful. Man, thank you. The one who made this website. The reference number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number... <laughs> look, what the heck? And yet they say, Christian Prince, you are a liar. It doesn't say that. See, pay. Seven articles of Islam. I will, I will, are you ready, guys? This guy is asking me, what is the seven articles of Islam? Seven articles? Are you sure you are not eight? <laughs> My friend, there is only one article. You have to be a fool, number one. You have to be fool, number two. You have to be a donkey, number three, which means fool again. And you have to be fool all the way. To believe in such a garbage, it's called Islam. What is the seven articles of Islam? Muhammad have articles now. Are you talking about the seven rocks or three rocks he cleaned his ass with it? What article? Your prophet did not even keep one word about Islam when it's come to him. He said to him, to you, you marry four women, he marry as much he wants. 
He said, you have to pay the worry. He don't pay the worry. He said, you women, they cannot offer themselves to you. They can offer themselves to him. He, is, he have the power of 40 men in heaven. 40 men of people of heaven, which means 4,000 men. And the poor you, you will have only the power of 400 men. I mean, what article? All the article is written for the anus of Muhammad and the penis of Muhammad. If you don't agree with me, call me and prove me wrong. All this cult is designed for the penis of Muhammad, the pocket of Muhammad, and the ass of Muhammad. There's no religion in it. All of it is about the privilege of Muhammad. All of it, from the beginning to the end. Who is here first time? If you are here first time, give me one. Anyone here first time? Who is here first time? There's no way there's nobody first time. I mean, we have hundreds and of people. If you are here first time, I have an advice for you. Don't come again. Because if you come again, you will not be able to leave. Islam is the best comedy, and Muhammad is our joke. And you will love a lot, and you will gain weight. So if you are a female, you will gain weight. If you are a male, you will gain weight. Either way, you will get divorced. So I advise you, and then you blame me. I advise you that I'm here next time. Only Muslim, Muslims come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Yeah, and bring your Qareen with you, the Shaitan, the Abiyat with you. Bring him. Bring him. Come here. Come here. Come here. Unbelievable. And brother, I'm really con you know convinced with all Muslims answer to me. One of them he want to find me, the other one he want to do muta. the third one he says, I don't see what behind my nose. I mean, have you ever heard of such? You don't know what is behind your nose. I will ask Jesus, is it the Quran says, Jesus, he can tell you what is hiding in your houses? Yet Muhammad, you do not know what is hiding behind his nose. His wife, she was accused that he, she was sleeping around. And then Allah, he waited one one month, 30 days to send him a verse says she did not do it. Muhammad was waiting to see if his wife, she is going to get a bread net. When she have no belly coming out, he decided to say, okay, you know, she uh, she still have her period coming. So he said, oh, Allah told me, brother, sisters. Abdul, when you talk to Christian Prince and you challenge him, you better get ready. I will fry you without oil. You ask for it, and you get what you deserve. You did not listen to me, and here I am again. I've been watching your videos for months and learning from you. What? Hold on. How you do, how you say I did not listen to you? How oh, you mean you don't want to listen to? Ah, oh, okay, okay. So this gentleman here, uh, he did not listen to me. Uh, when I gave the advice not to come again. Uh, so now he is he's stuck. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Brother, I want you to do the following. You open the Quran, brother, and you read the chapter of the chair upside down. For any time, brother. And then, brother, you are going to be fine and you will be able to leave education. Come on. Don't you see how the Sheikh, he said, you can burn the shaitan. <laughs> Just re recite the Quran and you can burn the shaitan. So how come Muhammad, he could not burn his shaitan? Huh? I mean, as long as it's so easy, recite Quran and do <laughs> and you can burn the shaitan. And now the shaitan is controlling Muhammad. So how come Muhammad who read the Quran, actually, Shaitan, he came to Muhammad while he is reading the Quran. I mean, do you see how stupid Muhammad and Islam is? How they claim if you recite Quran, you can make the Shaitan, make the Shaitan run away. This is stupid, why? Because proven to be wrong, proven to be false. Because Muhammad himself, he received satanic verses, as you see, while he was reciting Quran. Not while he was making a shish kebab. Are you with me? Which means, Shaitan and Quran 
cannot be affected. Here we have Mufti Mink, if you remember him. Mufti Mink, he is a person who can advise you about things which is really... Look, 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 look. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All the point is about reward. All, all the point is about self-worship, self-benefit. Even when they do good, if they do good ever. Because good in Islam, by the way, is a bad thing. Good in Islam is to kill the Christian and the Jews. Good in Islam is to hate the Christian and the Jews and the Hindus. And to rape women of the neighbors who they are not Muslims. So even when they, what they so-called good is not because they should do good, it's just for the sake of reward. Now, listen to the advice. Oh, no, no audio? Oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, Shaitan, his name is al -Abiyad. He changed the volume. Sorry, guys. I don't know. I mean, you see, it looked like I had the Shaitan Abiyad here. He come to me in my computer and he changed the volume and you guys, you could not hear it. So don't blame me. Blame al -Abiyad. And this is what Muhammad trying to do. Okay, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Dabiyad, Dabiyad came to me in the form of Zabriel. I mean, what I can do, Zabriel. He came to me, he looked like Zabriel. He have a zipper was open all the time. I look, his zipper is open. That means Zabriel. Because always Zabriel, his, his zipper is open. This is why they call him Zabriel. He have a zipper. No zipper, I mean zipper free. So, sorry for that. It was Shaitan Al-Abiyad. He uh, uh, played with the volume. And now you will be able to hear because Shaitan Al-Abiyad, uh, Zabriel came and he pushed him gently. And now he is in India. Hey, Indian people, how are you doing? Love you, brother. All right. If you, if you see Shaitan al just take a selfie with him and send it to me. Official, you're going to have a good reward. If you're doing something that is neither beneficial nor is it harmful, then it's okay. But you still could have used your time a little bit better. But if you're doing something that is destructive, it is wrong. So I'd rather have a pet. When you bring in a pet to the home, did you know, whether it's a cat or another pet, especially cats actually. Hold you on. Especially cat. What? There is danger by bringing a cat? Why? No way. Look at his face. Look, look. Tell us what about the hat, and the, what the cat can do, brother. What happened? Conspiracy? The cat, she is a Mossad agent. The cat is the Abiyat. You know, the shaitan, the abiyad. Mm, listen carefully what he was saying. You could have some of your family members who might be suffering with allergies as a result mm. of close interaction with that particular pet. Mm. So you need to monitor the family members at the beginning. Until now, there's no problem. Yeah, this is true. There are some people, they have allergy. As, as an example, Muhammad, he have allergy, bad allergy from Christianity, from the cross, from the Jews, from everything is nice. Eh, eh, it is allergy, you know, he want to kill them all. Okay, continue, continue about the cat. When you first bring in the pet, you need to monitor everyone and make sure that they don't react to this pet. They don't struggle with reactions, with allergies and so on. It has happened. But there's something even more important than that. Sometimes the jinn can actually affect a person or a family as a result of it coming into the home through a pet that was a carrier. Now, that's a little bit complicated, but to simplify it, all you need to do is just watch at the beginning yeah, of yeah. the time when you brought the pet into the home, oh. within the first week or two, yeah. what's happening in your house? What happened? Is there something that's just happened where people are getting sick or ill? Let's meow. Talk about meow. meow. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust. Um, All of this because of the cat, brother. She is a shaitan. 
There's a shaitan coming inside the cat. So look what the Muslim believe now. They blame anything happened to shaitan. And now the shaitan is the cat. So Muhammad, he receives satanic verses. Obviously, he's a satanic man. And people, they get him busted. Obviously, he is a false prophet. They claim that he believe in one God. And then suddenly he is worshiping the three daughters of Allah. So how he can fix it? He claims shaitan, his name is al -Abiyad, came to him and he gave him this. And now the Muslim, instead of finding the solution, what is making the wife and the husband are fighting? Uh, it's not because maybe the husband is an idiot or maybe the wife is a bad woman. No, it is the cat. Meow. All the verses in the world most likely happen because of the cat. The cat, she have a genie. There's one of you, he said. He's a, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a Spanish-speaking person. He said, there's many Islamic uh, centers open in, uh, in uh, Latin countries. My friend, I do my duty. I don't speak Spanish. So what about you and some other Christians who speak Spanish start making videos in Spanish? It's not time to complain. It's time to work. If we really care, then we should do, not complain. Those who complain, they are nobody. You can translate my videos. I have my book even in Spanish. You can add subtitle to my videos. You can speak and you can make comment about my video. You can translate. You can do a lot of things. You are learning. So we don't want people who complain. If something happened to you, you deserve it because you did nothing about it. As simple as that. If a thief, he come to your house, and he's a criminal and he raped your wife and you are standing there like a mute. You deserve it. You was there. You did nothing. Those who don't defend their faith or their land or their family, they don't deserve to have either. They don't deserve to have a land. They don't deserve to have a family. They don't deserve to have faith or they have none from the beginning. They did not defend what they have, which means they never have it. Here you see how those Muhammadan they try to fool you. And now the Muslim, poor Muslim, he starts thinking about, oh, the cat, the cat. Now I'm fighting with my wife because of the cat. Meow. And the poor cat, she have no idea what is going on. If the cats, they knew what Mufti Mink is speaking about them, they will attack him. They will cut him pieces. Literally. Is there is anyone have a connection with cats? He can translate to them and they will die laughing at the speech he is making. Cat? The cat is the reason? I don't know. I have a cat here. She is doing a reaction. I don't know if you like to see it or not. But the reaction of the cat is really something. Something, something, you know, something, yeah, something. Look, look at the reaction of this cat. Hold on, let me show you. You know, I want to show you the reaction of this cat. I hope you guys, you will, you will understand the reaction. If, like, I mean, you will not understand the reaction of a cat until you become a cat. Hmm? But look, this cat, she just heard about this. Look what happened. Like, what? Meow? No way, me? This is what the cat is doing. All this happened because of a cat. Brother, put yourself in the shoes of a cat and imagine how the cat feel when she hear a Muslim cleric he speak languages, he have a big salary, he go in TV, and he is blaming the cat for why the wife and the husband are fighting. Hey brother, are you planning to open a clinic, shrink? I think America, they need you. Starting from Joe Biden. I mean, Joe bite me. The cat. Did you notice there is a hate starting in the house? Mm, the cat, the pet, Whew, that's deep. 
And you are telling me Islam is not a smart religion for smart people? Are you stupid or what? This is the most smart, intelligent belief ever in the world. Muhammad, he went to the moon before anyone. He was there. And by the way, when Muhammad, he went to the moon, he found the Nile River and the Euphrates. What the heck? He Muslims, are you sure that Muhammad, he went to the moon, not to the south of Turkey? Not to Ethiopia? He found the, and the funny is, the Euphrates and the Nile River, they are coming from under the tree of Allah, which means they are coming from same source. They are together. The message of Allah, he said, Sihan wa Jihan. Those are two rivers. They are dead rivers already in the, in the north of Syria. And Al-Furat, Euphrates, and the Nile River are from the rivers of Jannah. Takbir, meow, takbir, ow. This is a clear evidence that the Prophet, he know what is behind his nose. Where is the nose guy? The one who told me you do not know behind your nose. Look, 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 look. Your Prophet, he is so good in geography. Discovery Channel, he discover where they are coming from. Are you kidding me? Look, I was raised to the loot tree. This is in the highest heaven of Allah. Where Allah, he live. There, there, brother, next to the door, next to the house. It's a tree, big tree. You walk underneath of it 100 years and you are not done. And the tree leaves is made from gold. Yeah, yeah, brother, true story. And I saw four river. Two which were coming out and two going in. Uh, uh, Muhammad, hold on. Don't you think that those are the same river? <laughs> because if two is going in, how you know that the one is coming out is not the same water? <laughs> to make it simple for you, Muhammadan. I don't know if I can make it simple for you. I mean, you are super intelligent. You like it complicated, don't you? Huh? So let us say this. Muhammad, he went there and there is a tree. This is the tree. And the tree is so huge, brother. Very huge. Okay? And then, brother, there is two river getting in. Under the tree. Wonderful, wonderful. And there is two rivers are coming out of the tree. Don't you think that those are the same river, brother? How you know they are not the same? I will give you a solution. Number one, the water was coming in was water. The water is coming out was Pepsi. I mean, how you know there's two rivers going in and two rivers going out? What does that mean? Is that the tree like filtering the water or something? Ah, taking bowl to Allah. Allah is drinking under the tree. And then, a brother, how the Nile River and Euphrates, they are in one location, in one source. And why they are in heaven? You see, he did not say those are two rivers. He just named them Sihan wa Jihan. Those are well-known rivers, and the Nile River, and Euphrates. And even Muhammad, he spoke about the Euphrates, that when the Dajjal will come, is going to dry. So we are talking about exactly the same uh, river. Yeah, brother, I know, I, I'm, I'm very good in drawing, you know. Uh, I, I was afraid that I'm going to be arrested one day, uh, like because I'm destroying the arts. You know, you know those artists, they get jealous, like, you know, this guy. So they, they try to, like, stop you from doing your amazing art. Okay, I'll, I will show you one more skills before I, I take this uh, tree from your, uh, uh, from your screen. All right? So look, we have what? We have a tree. Look what I will do, just to show you how good I am in art.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Please don't tell my mama. She will be so proud of me. And then, the three, because the three talk to Muhammad, she have a mouth. Her mouth is so big, beautiful. And the leaves of the tree, they are in the shape of the ear of an elephant. I'm, I'm serious, I'm not just making fun, no. Those are the leaves of the tree. Unbelievable, look how beautiful the leaves of the tree. They are in the shape of the... By the way, I forgot how the elephant ear look like. Anyone from India can help me? You know, since I not eating too much curry, I forgot. So the the leaves of the tree they look like uh, the what the heck, man? Somebody hurt my feelings and says ugly. You see, people don't 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 show support. Okay, guys, I have to go. I'm, 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 I'm really sad. I'm very sensitive, you know? Uh, I mean, you see, my life is not good. I don't look good. My art is ugly. My Muslim, they accuse me of lying. And the cat is coming to my yard. And now I am under the threat of cats because cats, they can cause hatred. <laughs> what I would do? What I would do? What I would do? The cat, brother, the cat. Be aware of the cat. The cat can destroy your marriage. Brother, are you unable to have sexual intercourse with your wife? For indeed, they need to turn... Shut up. Yes, brother. Brother, do you know that if you have a cat in your house, maybe she is the reason for you not to have sexual intercourse with your wife? No way. Yes, brother. But brother, I was able to tie some Viagra and it worked. You know, brother. This is not because of the Viagra. This is because the cat, she was not there at that day. Oh, the cat was not there at that day. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a true story. How come I did not notice that? Huh? I don't know. I think the video of the cat can help you in your marriage. You are finding difficulty. The family member are not really in good condition together. Do you have a cat at home? Do you have a salamander? The enemy of Allah? Or maybe you have a mice at home? The time when you brought the pet into the home, within the first week or two, What's happening in your house? What happened? What happened? Is there something that's just happened where people are getting sick or ill? I spoke about the allergies. Sometimes it brings about a lot of discord, hatred, you know, mistrust, um, discord in a way that was never known before. Now I know, I know one of you, he said to me, he wanted to donate to me and Patreon and they told him we cannot trust your, your credit card. And now I know those Patreon guy who spoke to him, he must have a cat. The cat there, she make him not trust the guy to accept his credit card. Uh. <laughs> See, having a cat or a pet at home, it can be shaitan. The genie inside the ball, inside the cat, he now is playing his game, controlling you with his remote control. And mistrust is all over the place. A person is saying to me, can you debate this guy? I don't know who is this guy. My friend, I debate everybody, even your cat. Just call me. Don't tell me, can you debate this guy? Just let him call me. As you see, we will come even cats to call us. So you have no excuse. Okay, tell us more about the cat. This animal came into the home. In that particular case, you may want to consider getting rid of the cat, getting rid of the pet. I've known of people who can't walk. They, they've struggled. You know, they actually can't even sleep thereafter sometimes. If that is the case, you might want to consider getting rid of the pet or changing replacing that pet with another i don't need a new cat the first cat was a, there is a devil a muslim saying to us we are blind a person who believed that a cat she can make the husband and the wife hate each other he is telling us you are blind can you believe it this abdul amur he is saying suzu 
Don't you have an answer? You people are nothing but blind believers. Hey, Amor, you are not a blind believer. You believe in this because you are not blind. You have the truth. It's proven scientifically that the cat, she do all those things and shaitan is inside the cat. Yeah, and then you bring the cat to your kitchen and the cat, she go meow, 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 and the wife, and that's why we find that 99% of the fight between wife and husband, they happen in the kitchen. Did you ask yourself why in the kitchen? Because the cat brother is under the table. She's making a meow, meow. Hmm? You know? So Abdul saying that we are blind. Look who is talking. A person he believed that Shaitan take care of him his anus. Shaitan he play with his penis. Shaitan if his wife. Shaitan he make his belly bomb because he spat at it, and he sleep in his nose, and he piss in his ears, and he jump in his mouth. He is saying, we are people who believe in things blindly. Brother, you must be coming from the sky. But not the sky up, the sky like Sky News. Are you sent by the candy camera program? Be honest with me. Don't disturb us, please. We have an important topic. We have now to change the pit because the first pit was shit on. The second bit, what is going to be? Sometimes. If that is the case, you might want to consider getting rid of the pet or mm -hmm. changing, replacing that pet. No another. way. This is something very important. And the reason is we have a few pets. And I've known of others who've had pets every time. Just monitor it. Just make sure that, subhanAllah, you have uh, looked into the issue of allergies and also the issue of other items. Read your dua on a daily basis, your dua for protection. Morning and evening, Ayatul Kursi. The, the chapter of the chair, brother. Read the chapter of the chair. So Muslims, was Muhammad reading Quran when the shaitan, the abiyad, he gave him the verses? The Abdul want to call me? My Skype is in the info. He can call me. This is an excuse. If you want, he can see it right away in the top, in the info of the video. You see how silly this stupid religion. This is not even religion. This is a stupid you know, crazy, uh, the voice is uh, is uh, is low, not for me. With that, the last surah no. of the Quran. It can't be Powerful. low. And inshallah, we ask Allah to protect us all. So the reason I'm making this. Guys, is his voice low? Is the voice of uh, the sheikh, the, 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 the cat advisor low? It's good, right? So I think, my friend, here we go. This guy, you must have a cat. The cat. Look what your cat she did to you. The voice here is so good. The voice there is not good. Why? Meow. The cat. <laughs> so it turned to be what the guy he said is true. It's absolutely true. So just for everyone to know, please monitor. Please make sure. You know, if there is a lot of uh, discord in the home, like I said, consider what I've just said. And inshallah, we do the need for Assalamu alaikum. Here we go. I dumped my poop on you, and now every Muslim he is paranoid about his cat. He solved the problem of a wife and a husband. He forgot that Allah He opened, He, he sent two angels in the Quran, Harut and Marut, to teach magic so the wife and the husband they fight. It's not the cat, you idiot. Now, do we have any Muhammad want to call me? No, it's okay. It's okay, Vigo. It's not your computer, my friend. It's your cat. My friend, it's okay. You know, the Muslims, they knew already that, that, that this is the truth. It's the cat. You don't need to say it's my computer. I know, I know, like we Christian, we don't want to tell them that this is the truth, right? So, okay, you know, like, oh, this is my computer. No, no, it's okay, you know. I mean, it's too late. It's too late. They knew. It's the cat. It's not your computer. So don't tell me sorry. They knew. The Muslims, they are watching you now, you see. Look, look at the look of this guy. He is serious. It's your cat, brother. It's your cat. They find genie and shaitan everywhere in their bedroom, in their closet, in their refrigerator, around their penises. Shaitan take care of from their anus. Shaitan even he followed them to the bathroom.
brother. Conspiracy against the Muslims, non-stop. You cannot imagine how hard to be a Muslim. Shaitan is everywhere. I wanted to give you an advice. Don't make Allah angry. Don't make Allah angry. If you make Allah angry, he will punish you and he will make you not as smart like me. I think you understand the situation. You go to sleep. You wake up in the morning, you find yourself not as smart like me. Do you want Allah to punish you? No way. I don't want that to you, brother. Can we keep hamsters as pets? The Prophet ﷺ instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill area, which is out of the haram, or inside the haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice because a mouse is a type of an animal that is evil by nature and it carries a lot of diseases and the plague is guys i just heard this is news just i receive it now that the fbi they arrested a mice he was smuggling drugs from colombia i mean you can be can you believe it he worked with the cartel. He is evil by nature. He is the enemy of Allah. You see, Allah, he killed all those millions of people. He make them fight each other. He's not evil. The mice, the mice, brother, is evil by nature. What he do, what he do, tell us. Oh, go ahead. One of them, <clears throat> among others. And it's known to be destructive. Mm. And... I was writing my book, Sex and Allah, and the mice appear in front of me. You know, he ran. I start like getting, gathering my thought together, I start writing, the mice appear. Unbelievable. You are right. He is causing a lot of disturbance. You know. With evil intent, even. Evil intent. He is doing it in purpose. I'm telling you, he used to come and he look at me like, hey, uh, 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 you know, like, what the heck? All right, my book, man. Leave me alone. Okay, can you? Okay, I will give you cheese. Can you just eat the cheese and stay away for like a day? No. I, the second I start writing the book, he appeared in front of me and he's like, ah, 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 CB, CB, catch me if you can. And then you go under the couch. Like, what the heck? Evil, evil. I'm telling you, those mice are very evil, brother. Evil. He do things with evil in what? With evil what? Intent. <laughs> Should we arrest him, you know? with evil intent, even it may take a piece of thread and get it uh, 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 burnt from, or set it on fire from. Now I know, now I know. The police brother come to my house and they said, we need to do like we have a warrant to uh, warrant, warrant. Like, uh, you know, like Warren, uh, you know, to, you know, to inspect your house. I said, why? What I did? They said, later we will tell you. And they start looking, 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 and then they found a thread. They said to me, where you got this thread from? If I know at that time about Mr. Mice doing his trick, taking a thread, I will tell them the mice. See why it's beneficial for you to read Islamic books and listen to Prophet of Allah? This is logic. This is science. You can save yourself from prison. Just tell them the mice brought the thread. If you have a fake dollars in your house, and who is the one who brought those fake dollars? The mice. If you are a drug dealer and they found two tons of drugs in your warehouse, what you how you explain that? The mice. What's wrong with you? 
those are evil with evil intent. They do it. They knew what they are doing. Man, people, you know, I don't know. It's hard to explain to people because nobody want to think with us. We Muslims are the only smart people in the world. Look at our beard. And they say to us, Santa Claus is not real. Go ahead. Burnt from or set it on fire from a candle or fire in the house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it. So mice are evil and we are ordered in Islam to kill them. Yeah, yeah. A hamster. No, is stop, please. Don't attack the cousins of Ali Dawa. Don't even think about it. A hamster. Honey, give me some grape. Some grape. Hamster, they love a grape. What? Now from the mice to hamster, what happened? Stop, please. Are you serious? Hamster is the enemy of Allah too. He is evil by intent. A hamster is very similar to mm -hmm. mice. It oh. looks like mice. It looks like mice. You know, if it walked like a duck, talk like a duck, it's a duck. Very simple, you know. And as they say, it's about 86 to 90 species of mice. You even know their numbers. This guy is making like a, a biology study about, you know, special, you know, specialist, you know, everything. That are found there. So... A hamster is a rodent and it falls under the same category of mice and hence it is not permissible to... It's not permissible. Here we go. Hey, hey. You know, you, you know, so the cat is a problem. The dog is a problem. I mean, what is a, the mice is the problem? The, okay, mice, we can, we can, I, I, kill, I kill the mice, no problem. But hamster, cats dogs even muhammad he claimed that the horse three things will bring disaster to the house by bad like evil eye or evil what they call it oh man a horse a woman and what i will show you the hadith after we finish so you can love keep them as pets because of the instruction of the prophet to kill them wherever we find them and to dispose of them. Really? What happened? This is the video? No way. The video is so short. Uh, I need to find the video where he's talking about the, like what we do with the, there is no way this is the same video. Did we jump by mistake? Of mice that are found there. So a hamster is a rodent and it. Yeah, this is not the video, man. I mean, I'm really disappointed. Where is the real video? Maybe he cut it, uh, you know, he... Uh... Uh... Hamster, hamster. What is the video about the hamster? Okay. Are they pretty haram? I don't know. I cannot find the video. You see? Let us see. There's a video where he explained why hamster. Anyway, uh, but anyway, the list of enemies of Islam is really long. Lizard, mice, Mickey Mouse, even they have a fatwa, which means a command, a holy command to kill Mickey Mouse. He is the enemy of Allah. Uh... Let us see this one. And supposedly I'm going to go a very short video, you know? Yeah. Uh, Madiha says lizards should be killed. Is it so? 
The answer is yes. The Jayco. The, the Jayco. Uh, uh, this Serbian Djokovic, the tennis uh, player. No, the, 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 the house lizards that you see on the walls. Mm. These lizards yeah? are to be killed. Why? And the Prophet said, Asam, if you kill them in the first strike, Oof. you get a hundred good deeds. No way. If you don't manage to kill it in the first strike because they're too quick and fast and they uh, uh, run here and there, but you hit it in the second and you kill it, you get lesser good deeds. I'm telling you, this is why we need to learn how to do aiming. And now people, they understand very well why I have too many guns. I mean, guys, why are you playing me? See, I can get more reward than all of you. First shot, the the guy go is dead. The guy, you know, the guy go, you know, they show him the insurance, you know. So, do you see the beneficiary of learning how to shoot? If you shoot him from the first shot, you get the biggest reward. Isn't it? This is beautiful. I saw you move in and I wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood with some homemade biscuits. Oh, that's so nice. And a little tip, Geico could help you save on homeowner's insurance. Oh. Cookies. Uh, biscuits. What the heck? We need to kill this guy? Muhammadan. This guy is the enemy of Allah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you kill him from the first shot you get reward and if you kill him from the second shot you get less reward <laughs> and the Muslim they say to us you believe you are blind you believe in anything <laughs> and if you kill it in the third strike you get lesser and lesser la, 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 la. and there was a hadith. No way. When they say there's a hadith, that's mean the shit is getting bigger. Sorry. Excuse my language. <laughs> when they say there's a hadith, it's mean things is going to be messed up. <laughs> Tell us what is the hadith in Sahih Bukhari? Are you serious? Bukhari. That when the idol worshippers built a huge fire. Yeah. To throw Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in it, mm. all animals and insects try... Listen, listen, all animals and insects, what they try to do, listen carefully, all animals, they, they can note, they can note, insects, <laughs> what, all animals, what, and what, animals and insects, what they're trying to do, hold on. All animals and insects try to put it off. To put the fire off. Insect. Insect. Mosquitoes. All insect. Zzz, flies. Zzz, bees. Zzz. All of them, brother. All insect. Bugs. Ladybugs. You name them. Ants. They come and they want to stop the fire on Abraham. Abraham, he, like, he was in the fire and he saw like a trillion billion insect coming. The sky is, is black and red and all the colors of the insect. Ants, bees, you know, like, what's up? Like, what's up? You know, what's up? All the insect, <laughs> Mark, exactly. What's your name? Han Han uh, Hannibal, Hannibal Rice. My friend, I don't know, I can't see you. you but what you said, teamwork is nicer. It's easier to read it from your name. So, as he said, uh, Hannibal, he said, teamwork. Team, the, all the insect and the animals, the brother. The insect, like, whiz, 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 whiz. The elephant is, Wah! the elephant, they came. And Geigo, even, like, you know, Geigo, no. <laughs> Geigo, he was not with them. No. He was planning for something evil. Tell us, tell us, shake. Animals and insects try to put it off, except for the lizard. Except.
son of Muta, except the lizard. I'm telling you, disgusting. All the insect and the animals, they try to stop the fire, except who? Except the lizard. Anyone have an objection? If there is anyone of you who don't even agree that this is, must be true, why people don't see the truth, brother? What's wrong with people? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I see here Goigo, but this is different Goigo. Um, I don't know. I mean, there is something fishy about Goigo. Push fire to throw Ibrahim, peace be upon him, in it. All animals and insects try to put it off except for the lizard it helped them ignite it so our enmity and hatred to the lizard is religious not because it's a repulsive insect mm. which is it's an insect huh but because it helped against prophet ibrahim peace be upon him and allah azza wa jal knows best <laughs> what is that at the end what happened at the end did you hear the sound is, is that was that a, a fast lizard Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. What? what the heck is that guys did you see what happened did you hear the sound at the end there is something fishy it was guy go involved in it love my New York apartment, but the rent uh -huh. is outrageous. Good you... thing Geico offers affordable renters insurance. With great coverage, it protects my personal belongings should I get damaged, stolen, or destroyed. <laughs> Who is in the door? <laughs> the Geico wife. She's telling him, Ibrahim in fire, let us make it more hot. <laughs> <laughs> and those people they come to you and they say to you we have a religion and we have a prophet his name is Muhammad he is so smart and he is from the land of Lizardine he want to teach you something important extreme knowledge how many of you today did learn something new from prophet Muhammad intelligence we have to agree all of us let us come together and agree that the prophet Muhammad is the best school of ignorance ever exist to mankind. You follow him, you are a stupid with high education degree. Hmm. The most beautiful prophet who received satanic verses. But yet Allah, he said to him, you are protected, the prophet. And he said to them, if you recite Quran, Shaitan, he have no effect over you. But yet himself, he received Quran from Shaitan when he was reciting Quran, which means Quran is useless. So my friend, I hope today we learn something good. And thank you, Muslim, for making me excited to go live. Otherwise, I'm not going, I wasn't planning to do so. But I hope today, what people they do, they watch only the last video and they will ignore the previous video before it. So I hope you will download, you will share, uh, you will, will give it to all your friends. And as you see those Muslims, I stay here for two hours, three hours, they don't even dare to call me. 
Yet in the chat, they are acting, they, they, they claim that they have answers, but the second they put their answer, we put in the screen and we die laughing at their stupidity. So I want to say, no, no, they have a snake. No, no, they have tons of stories about snake. No, you're mistaken. Muhammad, he told them even snake can be shaitan, and he told him even description, what kind of shaitan, uh, if the snake is white, it's a different story. So, but we don't want to go there now because that would make us spend all night talking about the fiction stories of Muhammad about snakes, about uh, lizard, about uh, cows, uh, about pigs. I mean, they have Muhammad. They have a story like even rats. Even rats, Muhammad. He think they used to be Jews. It's hard to believe how stupid this man is. But what make it hard to believe is how stupid those who follow this man. I mean, how in the world? Look at this. Let me show you the hadith about the rats. You see, I was going to leave. You guys, what you are doing to me? All those we need to kill them. But there is a reason, special, special thing about the rat. Uh, where is the rat? Hold on. Here we go. Listen to this. This is a true story, brother. Record it in history. This is not cartoon. The prophet said. Oh boy. I was leaving. Honestly, I was leaving. But you guys, look what you do to me. We thought we are, we are done with the mice and the lizard. Now what we are doing? We jump to the to the, oh, excuse me rats. Oh boy, rats. Yes, brother. And this is need the story. It's a drama, so we need the music. the children of Israel they were lost 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 and nobody knows what they did nobody knows but I don't see them except Allah he cursed them and changed them into rats. Beautiful story. What a drama. You speak to atheist, they say to you, we used to be monkey. We speak to Muslim, they say, no, the Jews used to be Jews and they become monkeys. And now Muhammad, he is coming with something else. Once he claimed that they are lizards, I'm, I'm serious. And once he claimed that they are rats, and once he claimed that they become Jew, became monkeys, so what? Um, rats? And look, look, Muhammad is honest. He said, a group of Israelists, Israelists, were lost. Look, you see what happened to you when you are Israeli and you are lost? Come on. Come on. And look, and nobody knows. Nobody. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody. 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 Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Where is the guy who said to me, you do not know what is behind your nose? So now your prophet, he discovered that they are rats, but he do not even know what they did. Where did he get this story from? I mean, Besides, he's saying nobody knows. Is that like a disclaimer when he say nobody knows? So don't ask me more questions. Like, you know, my story is so stupid. If you ask me more questions, people will laugh at me more. So I say nobody knows what they did. Because if you ask me now, you ask me what they did. And then know what to say to you. So now I bang, you know, and say like nobody knows what they did. What the heck? So Allah he cursed them, but so you know that Allah cursed them, but you do not know what they did. And Allah cursed them, he made them rats. Are you a Hindu? Are you a Hindu? Are you watching the videos of Sadhguru? 
Muhammad? You see, isn't this what the Hindus believe? If you have a good karma and a bad karma, then if you have a good karma, you will become like a Christian prince. If you have a bad karma, you will become a Christian prince. What the heck is that? So those Jews, they have a bad karma, and Allah, he cursed them and he made them rats. So beautiful, so sensitive, and so logical. And they say to you that the Prophet Muhammad, those Christians, they say Prophet Muhammad is not the Prophet. Look at this. And now Muhammad, he will tell you why he discovered that they are rats. Look, look. The story is not over yet. Prophet, why? Why? How you know? I will tell you. I will tell you why I think they are. If you bit the milk, if you put the milk of a she-camel in the front of a rat, it will not drink it. It will not drink it. But if you put the milk of a sheep in the front of it, they will drink it. They will drink it. Look at the observation of the amazing laboratory study, academic study. Those are rats. They don't drink camel milk because they are Jews. It's forbidden for the Jews to drink camel milk. Hello? Isn't it obvious? And here I want to say to the Muslims, as you see, your prophet is so stupid. However, he just said something against you. You Muslims drink camel milk and camel urine, but yet rats refuse to drink it. You know why? Animals, they can sense something is not right. Do we agree, people? Animals, if you want to know if your food is damaged or not, put it in front of the cat. If the cat refuses to eat it, that means the food is not good. Is that correct? If you have a meat in the fridge, if you have anything, put it in the front of the cat. If the cat refuses to eat it, the cat, she can sense that this food is not good to, to be eaten. And imagine even rats. And now we understand why in the Bible it's forbidden. The United Nations, they announce every year a warning not to drink camel milk. Very dangerous. And for sure, not to drink the stupid camel urine. It is extremely deadly. Yet, my friends, as you see, the rats, they have more intelligence than the one who follow Muhammad. I did not say it. Muhammad said it. It's in the front of you. But the stupid Muhammad, he is trying to say to you that those rats are Orthodox Jews. You know, those Jews who have like those hair coming next to their ear and they have those four verses in their in their head. You know, they took it from the like, oh, Israel, your God, your, your God is one. And they put them in a small box. Those rats are from those brother. They are very conservative Jews. They have Sabbath. Hey, Muhammad, did you observe them in Sabbath? Maybe in Sabbath they don't even do anything. As long as they are following the Torah, they don't drink camel milk. Why you don't tell us about what they do in Sabbath? Mm, now I know why we don't see mice or rats in Sabbath. Do you understand, brother? 
How many of you now decide to convert to Islam after those beautiful, amazing story proven by Prophet Muhammad? And those are authentic stories. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3305. And even they gave them numbers. Give numbers to the fool and call him Abdul. Mastool. Ya Mastool. Thank you all for being here. I hope today I have gave you some knowledge can help you to fight your, uh, let us say, ignorance. So if you are fighting with your wife, you get rid of your cat. If your wife, she don't like you, it's the cat. And maybe possibly it's a lizard or maybe possibly it is a rat. Or maybe possibly you're an idiot to believe in such a garbage. Choose one. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you for today humbly. You like it or not, I'm coming back. Muhammadan.